r slash dank memes memes me me memes did you think mayonnaise? No, it said maymays. Oh. Maymay, like. Oh, maymay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you yeah. said mayonnaise. I, I'm <laughs> just. <laughs> I'm Sorry. just jokingly doing the thing where I'm just like saying random shit just to see if it sticks. <laughs> and just made me think of like um, when you said memes and. Like a meeker <laughs> from uh, friggin' Muppets. A beaker. Or beaker, sorry. He says, he says that he's afraid of the dark. <laughs> I'm afraid of the dark. Oh shit! Boom, boom, boom. It's spooky. Booga, booga. <laughs> oh my gosh! Darkness. You're imprisoning me, Elder. I see absolute horror. I cannot live. I cannot live. I cannot live. I cannot live. Sorry. You Hold didn't on. mess up anything, did you? No, I didn't. It's just. Oh, that's too bright. That, that's the same brightness it was just on. Oh. I literally just turned them off and turned them back on. Oh. Sorry. Just the eyeballs adjusting, readjusting. Sorry. So, dank memes, Sorry. boys group chat be like. Sorry. <laughs> yes, they do be like that. <laughs> bless them and bless you. <laughs> yes. Did you plan to do No, that? I did not. That just literally came out of nowhere. <laughs> Considering I was in a boys chat earlier today, and all we did was find green screen memes for Rick to put in his upcoming video on his channel. I see him. <laughs> but me and me and Jake and Nino literally scoured the internet for like green screen memes of like dancing green screen memes oh for uh, for Rick's video. <laughs> and it has some of the most cursed imagery I've ever seen in it. It has a knockoff Dominican Republic version of Disney characters in it. Wow. I'm not joking. It's awful. <laughs> and I cannot wait for you all to see it on Rick's channel whenever he releases that. Because <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. Anywho. Yeah, so. R slash dank memes. Boys group chat to be like. Uh, let's uh, get it up on screen. Let's check it out. Here we go. It's time to go. Was I a good singer? No. I'm told you were an all-star. Yeah, that one came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Average iPhone Bye, enjoyer. Steve. Aver okay, yeah. I'm sorry. It's funny because this meme has been going on for so long that you could make <laughs> one of these iPhone whatever memes about this meme. <laughs> yeah, except, except my whole deal is I usually wait four or five years to upgrade mine. I still got the 11 Pro Max and I still love this thing. And I'm probably going to upgrade to the 15 later on. We'll see how it goes. Because one of my speakers just, one of my speakers went out, and I think the other one, the other one's, like, starting to go. Mm -hmm. Plus, you know, the battery's not holding enough charge anymore. Damn it, Apple. <laughs> <coughs> oh, specifically about the iPhone, though. Not just, like, the format in general, but, you know, every single time this format pops up, this is all it's about is the iPhone, dude. <laughs> Violence Where you paused it while he was red. shaking Vi the image around? Yeah, that was just trippy. For just a second, like, I started to have a panic attack because I thought I was actually having a stroke. Oh, dear God. I'm sorry. Like, I've been having, like... It was like, bothering me, too. My arm has been tingly recently, and I've been having some random chest pains and stuff. I'm like, please don't have a heart attack. Please don't have a heart attack. <laughs> but, you know, then my vision starts to blur, I think, and I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it was so blurry. I'm, like, whatever. trying to get my eyes to focus. I was like, oh, no. Oh, Something God. bad's happening. Memes about this meme. <laughs> like, yeah, it was right that. there. Yeah, it was not not good. <laughs> you know, every single time this that, that's the camera up, shake this is all uh, it's about function is the on Adobe Premiere. I mm. love that. I love that function. Oh, dude. <laughs> Violets are blue. Roses are red. Biden wraps up G20 conference by announcing, "I'm going to bed." Well, I mean, how old is the guy now? Three hundred and twelve. So I guess that adds. You give him too much credit. He's at least four hundred, Robin. 
I mean, come on. Uh, One Piece gooners. I just wish they cast accurate looking women in live action. One Piece live action, if it is accurate. True. Yeah, I mean, if we're being honest. Plus, as much as, you know, it... Well, okay. An impossible... It's literally an impossible body type. Much like how Zoro and... Like, okay. It is impossible for you to have the body types that are in One Piece because... They're fictional characters. They're all spaghetti. Also, not only that, but Katakuri. The dude's literally like 12 foot 9. I don't think there's a human being alive that is 12 foot 9. I, and... Yeah. Honestly, to me, it's just whatever. <laughs> Oda's face... And also, Oda's faces, in a lot of cases, do look a very familiar. Yeah, like I would have assumed that was all different shots of the same character with just different colored hair. And eyes. All three of them, all four of them have different eye colors. Mm, I wouldn't have noticed that. Plus, I know all of these characters. Gosh. The mouth and expression <laughs> looks way too, you know way too similar to each other. You know what? I've never seen the anime. Yeah, I, I get you. But, honestly, a lot of these characters, like, this is the only mainstay character of the of the franchise and of course you know you have you know, you have Shirahoshi, Rebecca and you have Vivi but I really miss Vivi. I really wish she'd come back. She was awesome. I watched the uh, live action and thought, wow, this is really fun. Because I didn't know what the hell One Piece was about at all. I had no clue it was a pirate thing. And the live but action's man, all right. I hooked on at least the live action portion. But, you know, the uh, the style of the anime is just not really for me. <laughs> Plus, I don't know if I could catch up on 1,200 episodes of anything, oh, right? Crap. Not 1,200. Well, yeah, at least he pointed out it wasn't actually 1,200. But they do have catch-up films that I do recommend you watch because they are really good at, like, abridging everything that's unimportant out. Cutting out filler and just, like, giving you exactly what you want to see. Hmm. That's, a, a, at least in my opinion, I mean, that's... I, I liked it. Now, opening my phone, opening mom's phone. Eh, she's starting to go blind. Gotta have it on real bright all the time. Yeah. yeah. HP and yeah. Apple walking to the worst anti-consumer practices competition, and they see their opponent is Blizzard. <laughs> oh, well, they're screwed then, right? PE coaches now. PE coaches when I was in school. <laughs> that is extremely true. It is. I don't I get had, that. I had a PE coach that looked almost exactly like that, but with just even shorter hair. Yeah. I did. T I actually know her because my mom's still friends with her. And she was a devil woman too. I think she finally she got fired for being a complete ass to student. I never had a female coach. Any uh, coach. We, it, we all like despise the fact that this lady was fucking apple shaped. Yeah. Fucking acting like a drill sergeant towards all us kids, you know, like. Mm. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like, she's going to yell at us for not being able to do 25 push-ups. We'll fucking look at her. I doubt she can do one. Yeah, I will say this. The whole deal with the, the gym teachers I had, I had two male gym teacher coaches and a female. When I was in middle school, those were, like, the ones that I knew the most. Mm -hmm. One of them was really cool, uh, Mr. Kern. He was super cool. Then you had Mr. You had Mr. Stanley who was an absolute dick and treated like every like everything was like thankfully he was under Mr. Kern so he didn't get to make the calls most days but when it was just him and Mr. Kern was like at home sick or not there that day oh god it was like sprints gasters and all this it was like jesus man like he wanted us to be dead tired by the end of the day mm. and then there was then there was Mr. Uh you probably have heard Mom talk about her. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, she was decent. She was a decent person, and she was actually a pretty good uh, a pretty good teacher. But She was your gym teacher? Yes. Huh. Yeah, for like the last two years. <laughs> huh. It was hilarious. Uh, anyway, post-production, Nate, you've been slacking recently. Here's a little more work for you. 
Uh, that's a, I hope that's a real photo on the left. You know, it, it very well could be, but I'm so jaded now that all I can think is, did you seriously throw an AI person in a meme? People in 1876, yeah. after Alexander Graham Bell won the first US patent for the telephone. What the hell is that? I mean, did they just appear in people's homes? Therapist, Hang close on, go, go you back are. real quick. Go back to the supposedly AI person. It her, is. Her eyelashes don't match. It's, uh, go back a little bit more. To where it zooms out. Uh oh. There's an easy way to tell. How's that? I mean, dude, she looks like a porcelain doll. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's AI because her shirt doesn't make any sense. Deem Zor. Deem Zoyo is not any kind of brand or anything that doesn't exist. Also, it's over top of her hair. Yeah. Also, there's like, yeah, that's true too. And then there's like no kind of like sports brand that's going to use like heavy metal like font for their logos and shit. Uh, that's a, I hope that's a real photo on the left. You it's know, not. it very well could be, but I'm so jaded now that all I can think is, did you seriously throw an AI person in a meme? People in 1876, <laughs> after Alexander Graham Bell won the first U.S. patent for the telephone. What the hell is that? I mean, did they just appear in people's homes? Therapist, close you eyes and go to your happy place. My happy place? Am I supposed to recognize this, or is this just a, a, a generic peaceful scene? Because I, okay. Babe, like another please AI just... Or <laughs> One glass. No, you can't have breast milk with your cereal. Jesus. Ew. Ew. Oh, fuck, man. Ew. I mean, I guess that's fair. She's in charge of it. She says no, then it's a no. God, it's not a hard concept to understand. Johnny Depp begs for mercy. Amber Heard. Is that a really, is that, is this real? What the hell am I looking at here? You know what? I actually don't give a rat's ass about either of them, so I'm just gonna move on. Me, when I catch the penguin from that nature documentary who stole pebbles from other nests instead of finding his own. Oh. What was this from? Oh my God. That was from the Simpsons movie. Uh, he was playing, uh, I think he, Homer was playing Grand Theft Alaska, and he, ba he basically came across a tap dancing penguin, and you shoot him with a shotgun. The Simpsons movie? Was that what it was from? Yep. I think so. It doesn't matter. I finally asked out the girl at work. She rejected me, and the company gave me a formal warning. This has got to be one of my personal favorite formats. Those stupid, tough guy, skeleton, gun-toting, yeah. buddy, <laughs> wearing whatever. You've seen them all. They're all the exact same. They're trucker beams, dude. It's just like, it's like my, fa my favorite one is just like, hit the left turn signal, turn right anyway. Take that, liberal. Despite actually being a little different, right? They're all identical. They're identical. It is what it is. It's the same but... edgy artwork. <laughs> I just, I love it. Nobody. Family court judges when a man asks to get full custody of his kids over his meth addicted ex wife. <laughs> it, you're, man, that's so funny. Willem Dafoe. Well, it's true. It is true. It is. Dude, I, we have a, like, there's someone we know personally yep. who is. Fighting to be able to take care of children. Yeah, and, I can't. See and him, else. and and him, he is a stand-up guy. Works a full-time job. Works his ass off. Is a good dad. Is a good dad. And then the other person is on drugs and oh, on various and drugs. Had DUIs and all kinds of shit. Like she would literally have to kill someone in order to have her kids taken away from her. Like, it, I just don't get it. And I, don't, the kids, I don't either. The kids are growing up too fast and getting into trouble. And it's just not a good situation. No, it isn't. My thing is that if you're not responsible enough to, to take care of your children, then you should not have children. Yeah. <laughs> like, period. Agreed. I still think you should have to have a license to have children. In some ways, I well, agree. Well, people just don't understand that. People don't understand what all goes into taking ch care of kids. A hundred percent, and it's stupid. Like... It's stupid that people just think... It's, like... There's people who use, like... 
children as a bargaining chip or use it as a, a point of status. That irritates me off. the fuck out of me. That pisses me off. I hate like, that. Be, kids are not. Kids are not, not bargaining objects chips. that you can you can use against people. That is not that's not okay. It's it's not fair to the person you're doing that to for one, and for two, it's not fair for the children. And that's Agreed. the most important thing. Like, yeah, they shouldn't be. No. no. This is why the dad fucker exists. Just trying to, you know, advocate for family courts actually making sense and stuff like that. Yeah, it should be. It I, honestly, if you are there as a parent. And it's been proven that you're there as a parent. You have a good track record. You have a clean home. Yeah. You have a place like that has beds for all the kids. I mean, you you cook and clean, and you're there for them. You let, go to let me ask sports a events and, and would, stuff. Would this like, person have to pay child support if they were to have partial custody of the kids like they want? Odds are yes, because the the truth is the courts love handing out deals for or love handing out uh, uh, child support. Uh, what I was gonna say is if they weren't able to both have him pay child support and give him like custody of his kids, that's why, because the court gets cut to that child. That's support. exactly my point. Is like it's it's a racket. No one no one recognizes that. You think it's like oh it's ridiculous how much money I'm giving. To my ex-wife or my ex or my baby mama or something like that. Guess who takes a chunk of it every the single government. check that mm-hmm. you sign? The, the court government that told you that you have to pay. Exactly. It oh, should forced be to use it's a fucked up system. It is, and nobody cares about the children. No. A lot of people. I hate to say this, but a lot of people have kids because they can get money for having oh, yeah. kids. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's. Absolutely ridiculous, too. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to say about that. Other than like, just, like, you know what? close your legs and just, like, be <laughs> responsible. Jesus Get a Christ. cat instead. Yeah. <laughs> They're a lot easier to take care of. The government won't pay me for having a cat. Oh. Well, fuck off. Who oh, cares? too bad. Don't, I mean, it'll teach you how to take care of a child, actually. Uh, right, baby girl. Also, I did hear about this, and, and don't ask me how, but I've seen it, and yes, it is quite something. It's a double for his package in Antichrist, as his own was enormous. Sorry, Willem, we won't film you naked. We found you a double. Hmm. You know what? That's very believable to me. The BTS history. It's true of a screwed up horror movie the history of the wizard of oz a joyous movie <laughs> well yeah modern horror though has a very different i like the uh <laughs> i like how the smoke stack in the background still makes it kind of look like a unicorn just that's, yeah, that's up a, unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like oh god Dude, I want to I want to give this horse a good place to live, man. Yeah. Like give like give it a pen in the backyard, yeah. big old bale of hay for it to eat as much as it wants. You know, give it some oats. Give it a bath. Give it a yeah, good scrubbing and and clean his wounds and yes. stuff. Yes. Like show this horse some love, dude. It is a sad looking horsey. Poor baby. Different vibe. Yeah. To the Wizard of Oz, right? When was the Wizard of Oz done in the 30s, 40s? Oh, yeah, the behind the scenes of of friggin' Wizard of Oz. That was nightmare time, dude, in terms of, like, how much control the executives at the studio... There were there were no unions to protect actors. There were no, like... There were no, like, uh, better, like, like humane uh, treatment or anything like that. No. It's like, if you were under contract, you had to show up, or they could send their own police to arrest you and force you to show up on set. That's how much power they had back then. Wow. It's fucked up. It is. You know, back when uh, everything was legal aside from... <coughs> the- Bless you. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> Bless Sorry, you again. Sorry, Sorry. Hey, Sorry. So- 
you know, no one had any goddamn rights at all, particularly female actors, actresses, if you will. So yeah, yeah, The Wizard of Oz was a goddamn joke of a production, man. China, the nation they want to strengthen their relationship with. Have a panda. I mean, Captain John Hunter. Guys, look at this goofy-ass animal I found in Australia. British naturalists, do you think you could spare us the bullshit for one minute? Don't understand, but okay. Wow, the in-betweener. I cannot believe they made an in-betweeners meme. <laughs> I haven't seen that show in fucking forever. Me either. Damn. Great show, though. Absolutely great show. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, I think the best episode is when they go to the theme park. I'm more popular in Not Safe for Work content than the actual game I come from. The more you know. That... Oh, God, I wish that weren't true. That happens a lot, though, because <coughs> the internet is the internet. Well, whoa, it's whoa, also whoa. because the game that she comes from since she's been put in the game has been absolutely, like, neglected and run into the fucking dumpster by the developers. Yeah, that's true as well. Went from being a really, really fun game that almost everybody enjoys to, like, an overwhelmingly negative rated going? game. That nobody enjoys it's just anymore. Trashed here now. You know what? You know what blows me away in terms of the game that's making a comeback, Halo Infinite. Because according to a lot of people, two years ago, Halo Infinite was dead to rights. Now, everyone's going back to Halo. I heard of as of earlier this year that Halo would <laughs> died completely. Oh, I heard that too. But apparently, not true. Apparently, they're still developing can you, for it. Can you put that over there, sure. Apparently, they're still developing stuff for it. Is it and still considered an abject failure? For now, but in terms of their player base and everything like that, it's making a huge recovery. And I would say that it's... I would say that that's a good thing, because they fired all the people that basically were just, like, coasting and saying, oh, we're not going to do split screen. Yeah, we're just... Yeah, because we don't feel like it. Every single one of them got absolutely just, like, sacked and just like thrown to the curb and now there are like new people there and they actually give a shit and they actually have they've actually put more game modes in like everyone was clamoring for more game modes because they only had three in the beginning and they only had three for like a solid gear but now here in the last like three to six months the games have like tripled like the game types have tripled and the game and the maps they're actually taking in maps that the community makes and actually making them official maps. So they're basically letting the community also contribute and do work for the game as well. So basically they're pulling a complete and total like anti, uh, uh, anti valve at this point or not, not valve, but uh, Bethesda. Hmm. You mean Blizzard? Whoa. I mean, do I mean Blizzard? Because I know Bethesda, they shut down a lot of people's, um, a lot of people's mods because of the uh, the Atomic Shop and stuff like that. Oh yeah, they got so much backlash though that they had to stop doing that. So. Well, but um, that just kind of makes me hope that Microsoft does fully acquire Blizzard and then they do the same thing to them and fire a bunch of the fucking people that are in charge and replace them with people who give a shit. Well, it's what it seems like they did with uh, 343, because, yeah, they basically have just said, yeah, we're, like, you guys fucked up. Bad. Like, no one in the community likes this game anymore. It's going to take a lot for us to get things back on track. And now, Bethesda, with the release of uh, Starfield, which I know people say is bad, but it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's the first positive game Bethesda has released in like what five years six years if not longer we've got new merch over at mkshop.com why don't you go over there and take a look for yourself this stuff made with a hundred percent cotton is hefty thick and built to last so you'd be much like me ladies crazy not to get it right Head on over now and use code BOOBIN at checkout to get free shipping. Six foot three, 215 pounds. Six foot two, 220 pounds. Yeah, I'm six foot three. I weigh about 200, and I don't look anywhere near that f***ing thing, you know? I am six foot two, and I weigh over 300 pounds. Yeah. 
I'm what you call an absolute unit. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that's inaccurate. Come for on. Trump. No, he has to weigh at least 250. Yeah, like, uh, no, he weighs more than that, I'm sure. <clears throat> Who the f was Because he I'm 5 foot 11 and I weigh, like, 260 right now. Like, there's no fucking way he weighs only 215 when he looks like me, basically, in terms of body figure. Yeah, I don't know. The kid with that sh for real, for real. Society, if one horsepower was equivalent to one horse's worth of power, I mean, I guess, isn't it equivalent to like 14 for some strange reason? I, I feel like I've really looked into it at one point and I just don't care anymore. Poor country shouldn't focus on space, weather prediction for farmers, improving communication and transportation, developing new technology, international cooperation, inspiration for children, national prestige and hence foreign investment. Oh, I'm, I'm so tired of the, oh, thanks for wasting all that money on space argument. I'm so tired of it. NASA gets like 14 f***ing dollars a year. You want to complain about budgets? Why don't you look into each individual form of government? Oh, yeah. No, I, honestly, that's always been my thing is like, Everyone is just so, like, blind about how much our government is spending, and no one wants them to take accountability for it. Okay. Oh. Just let her go. Hey. You alright? Just let her go. She's huh? getting stressed. Just let her go. Go on. She really dropped kicked the microphones over. <sighs> but I've said it for years. Everyone just needs to just... I wish everyone understood how much, like, we're getting the wool pulled over our eyes by the people who are spending the money. And it's like, and who's going to pay for it? Like, taxpayers. Everyday taxpayers have to pay for it. And then complain about NASA's budget for a second, why don't you? Okay? <laughs> you should go camping, it's so fun! Me waking up in my tent with three hours of sleep, 32 mosquito bites, a family of mice living in my backpack, severe back pain, and laying in water because it rained the whole night? Oh, that all sounds like a you problem. <laughs> it sounds like you did a shit job preparing your tent. I mean... The owner and my boss uh, telling me they can't afford to get... Like, even if you do a good job preparing your tent, some of that's accurate. I guess I've always been good at preparing my tent. Yeah, I've Is never that... really had that happen. Me neither. Give me a raise. Yeah, they just can't. Well, I can't afford to work here anymore, so bye bye It's like, I'll tell you about camping. The one thing you can't prevent, no matter how well you prepare your tent, is the outside temperature. So, like, waking up in a pool of sweat or freezing one or the other is not uncommon. Well, I mean, that's why I always go camping during a certain time so that I always know, like, like, whenever I wake up, I'm gonna, like, yeah, I'll be a little sweaty, but... Maybe that's why I have a, uh, aversion to camping is because we were not allowed to choose what time we wanted to go. We went when the Boy Scouts told us we went. Yeah, mm. I'm, it, which was it, usually in the dead middle of summer. Yeah, that right there. I mean, I don't know. For me, now it's is the fall. best time of year to go. Yeah, it's like fall time, fall going into winter, like when the leaves are changing and like the weather's beautiful outside. Boomers carefully choosing the building materials that cause cancer. <laughs> hey, look, that one, I just have to assume was ignorance, okay? Communicate your relationship <laughs> issue with your SO. Write a Reddit post about it and ask strangers what to do. Well, when you're chronically online and addicted to the internet, that's all it is, man. Since you're so dense, I'll spell it out for you. I like you. Me, I have no time for your riddles. <laughs> yeah, I just, it's My right. God. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are just that thick. <laughs> I was treated so poorly growing up that if someone did actually say, oh, yeah, I do, I wouldn't believe them. I'd have zero reason to believe them. <laughs> like, nope, sorry, not falling for that. Elon, I think I forgot something. If you forgot, then it wasn't important. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Is that still up like that? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> Probably not, but whatever. Boys group chats be like jokes about being gay, being gay. I tell you, it's getting closer every day. Me trying to remember where Dutch people are from without saying Dutchland. They're from the <laughs> Netherlands, damn it. It's 
<laughs> it's even more confusing that the actual German way to say Germany is Deutsch. Deutschland. <laughs> yeah, it's Deutsche, Deutsche Sprechen Deutsch in Deutschland. Netherlanders Sprechen Sie Netherlanders in Netherlands. That's, like, that's, li- and they call themselves Dutch, but they're Netherlanders. Whereas the, du- whereas the Germans call themselves Deutsch. So it's like, it, it's weird. It's very weird. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Uh, they're from, uh, I don't know. The hate for Amber Heard leaving my body after seeing the mercy. Oh, so was no. that real? That was real? <laughs> no, I, I still, I don't care if she dresses up as Mercy. I don't care if she dresses up as anybody else. I'm still not going to like her. Period. Yeah. It's so weird. Why are we it's still just talking about Amber Heard, Mercy, though? My Mercy would never act like her. Gonna be. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, don't forget you get in the face. It's like, it's like my dog stepped on a bee. This, <laughs> I don't know. I never stupid, watched that it. That stupid face she made. I never watched any of it. There were other people invested in it at the time. Uh, well, I know Asmongold was because you couldn't go on YouTube without seeing Asmongold reacts to day three of the Johnny Depp trial. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> like, his his dumb little face down there hate, in the corner is being like... I just hate the fact that he didn't get to be in Fantastic Beasts. Oh, And then, I, like... I can't. It's called damage control. And, and, now, and now that like everything was coming out and everyone realizes whose side they're on, she still gets to be an Aquaman. Even though I only saw that her in the pisses me off. Even though I only saw her in the preview for like three seconds, I think they kill her off. I honestly oh, do. I, I think, hope so. I think they killed kill her off in in the second Aquaman movie because she's in it for like she's in the trailer for like a second. Hmm. And it's like her hitting like a window or something. And I'm like, oh, please tell me they kill her off. Please tell me they kill her off. I'm still not going to watch it either way. Oh, yeah, the not. fact that she's in it at all means I'm not going to watch it. It, it. it points out the hypocrisy. Oh, well. Done. Can we just get her and him the f*** out of the limelight, please? We start asking 20 cents per Unity install. We send the invoice to Microsoft and Steam. Microsoft and Steam ban Unity games. I mean, yeah, what the f*** <laughs> would you expect that? I mean, look, that's the thing. You, like, you sign an agreement with the people that you are distributing your games through. Then at the la- then, you know, you get a big brain idea be like, but wait... What if we do this? This can't possibly go... Hey, where'd all our sales go? Fuck. Well, we're just gonna stick with it because, you know, we're Unity. We can we can handle it. Turns out they can't handle it. <laughs> Happen in that particular case. God, Unity, what a dumb goddamn idea, bro. Welcome to the gang, Stupid. kid. We got Steel and Steve, Murder and Mike, and Cookie Cutter Shark. What did Cookie Cutter Shark do? He almost screwed up the U.S. Navy. I don't have any context, so cool. Medieval boy. You know what a cookie cutter shark Thanks. is, right? Yep. Yeah, we, we saw we saw a casual geographic talk about it. Basically, it's a, it's a shark that latches onto you and has, cir- has a circular mouth and basically just zzz, cuts out a massive divot into your, like... And it can go through metal. That's how. That's how. Oh fuck no! Yeah, they actually cut holes in the sides of ships, and they also are very avid at cutting holes in whales, sharks. What part of the ocean are these in? Everywhere. I have I never heard of it. Hey, <laughs> hey. They're creepy. Oh, as yes, they are. When they do some digging and find dinosaur bones, holy shit, it's a freaking dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Sir, did you enjoy the shrimp fried rice? The customer, jokingly, did a shrimp. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it was great. Women, ugly dudes who are silly and have confidence. Attractive men who are shy. I don't know about that one, honestly. I don't- uh, no, no. Uh, there's plenty of attractive dudes who, ha- who have confidence out there. Plus, being an ugly dude who's silly and still single, I mean, I call bullshit on that. 
I don't know about that one, dude. $80 million fighter jet, your $600 Venmo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, yeah. Don't give a shit about the money that they're spending, but holy shit, this guy just got 600 on Venmo. He must be a drug dealer. He must be evading taxes. Arrest him right now. It, yeah, did it, hold on a second. Bullshit. With that jet, didn't the dude eject, and then the jet just kept flying itself on autopilot? Yes. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? An F-35. $80 million? Yes. And it just wrecked? Yep. That is fucking stupid. Somewhere. I, I have to imagine it's crashed by now because it's been days, but like where in the world could it have gone? Is it most likely like in the ocean or something now? <laughs> nah. Because I feel like we would have heard about it if it landed any or crashed anywhere near a civilized place. They're not you gonna know? tell My us. girlfriend thinking. Huh? They're not gonna tell us. They just did. If it crashed. Oh, it crashed. Yeah. Oh, that is the site? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is. Where it ejected, it flew 80 miles, and then boom. Hmm. In South Carolina? Yep. Huh. Took off out of Charleston, and then bam. See, where did it crash at? I think it... Yeah, that's where it crashed. I don't know, like, what the exact... But yeah, this thing can go 1,200 miles an hour. Has quite the, the range. The program? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Uh-huh. That's, um, that's like, it looks like Florence, actually. Maybe. I think it's like around Florence or North Myrtle Beach. Maybe. Yeah. She's on the keyboard over there. Calliope, get down. She's now on top of Caitlin's amp. Well, fuck it. Oh, well. But, yeah. Yeah. The F-35 and the F-22 are the two scariest things in the sky right now. F-22 Raptors are are, are literally just like so terrifying. It's it. I can't believe that they've been around as long as they have. Any or crashed anywhere near a civilized place, you know? My girlfriend thinking he's her best friend and he will always be there for her no matter what. That best friend who wants to sleep with her. I'm confused. What is this saying? I don't understand. Oh. Yeah, this is the dude who wants to sleep with it. Yeah, sleep with your girlfriend, and this is your girlfriend not expecting it. Oh, 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 oh! Never mind. It took me a second because it was worded really weird. But uh, yeah, that's right. Woo! Anytime a girl has a are guy they friends friend... in real life? Oh, well, who? Henry Cavill and Jason and, Momoa? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Big time friends. They're both big fucking nerds. He's <laughs> <laughs> just. I didn't know they were friends. Oh, yeah. And uh, the guy friend's just out to f*** her. That's what it is. Yeah, you're not jealous at all. No, not at all. You don't have a f***ing problem. Got any fatherly advice for me? In the absence of a condom, a fake name and no social media is your best protection. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Omni Man with the Giga Chad advice. Well, that's not f***ing true at all. You don't got one. Probably shouldn't do it. Unless, you know, I agree. you're gay. <laughs> or, no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that either. You need to be f***ing responsible. Wrap it before okay? you tap it. It's not hard. Condoms are not expensive. It's not f***ing difficult, okay? I know no. we're on dank memes, and that's not the goddamn point, but, uh, yeah, okay. Society. The number one cause of death for men under 40. What? What? Okay. My son got I an F, it. so I took away his phone. He gets another F, so I ground him. He says he's depressed, so I yell at him. Why doesn't my son lie? Like me. Hmm, I wonder why. Cool music. Let me check what other songs the band has. Oh, yeah, it's never really fun when you go and look them up and you find out that that one song was just sort of a little one experiment for them and then they went back to what they normally do. Pimples? Zero. Blackheads? Zero. Chances of me buying a product after being spanned by a hundred obnoxious ads for it? Zero. This is the yeah. day you will always remember is the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> U.S. government in 1933. Okay, folks, prohibition is over. Y'all can drink again. Yay! Me and the boys who've spent the past 13 years getting wasted on moonshine at illegal speakeasy bars. <laughs> 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 Me and the boys in uh, in Franklin County running moonshine and basically like hydrating half of the friggin' eastern seaboard. Yeah. I was gonna say, moonshine is what gave birth like moonshine is what gave birth to like a lot of the crime in this area. 
And also gave birth to NASCAR, too, so thank you for all the left turns. Oh, not only that, but, uh, but, not only that, but Prohibition also gave birth to organized crime, so well done. Well done, U.S. government. How old are you? Thomas Austin releasing 24 rabbits into the wild for sport hunting 70 years later. <laughs> yeah, that may not have been an ultimately cool move. <laughs> French people in 1859 after watching a 50 second silent film of a train pulling into a station. That's cinema right there, you understand? Do you understand? Why are you calling it the start button? I'll be deep in the cold, cold ground before I recognize options. <laughs> Same. 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 <laughs> It's the start button, period. Horses then, valiant steed, will literally trample a mother at breakneck speed, pulls heavy artillery and weaponry, doesn't give a F about cannons firing. If the opposite army has them and you don't, you're screwed. Horses now, gets diarrhea if a firework goes off six miles away. Well, to be fair, be as fair to horses as possible in this particular case. They don't have to go to war anymore, you know? No. Uh, I feel like if a cavalry division, because it's cavalry, right? I feel yeah. like yeah. if a cavalry division showed up in a battlefield, a modern battlefield, we're going to have a really, really sad story. Yeah. Also, well, horses, the last war that they were really, truly used in was World War I. After that, you know, motorbikes, cars, and automobiles became, became the more norm. But to think about this, think about this. For tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years, the fastest form of... Of transform of transmitting information was a was a mail carrier on horseback, a messenger on horseback. That's literally the peak of of like trans of like transportation and communication. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the horse population in the United States peaked in like the nineteen like the nineteen tens, I think. And ever since then, the population has been going nowhere but down because they're not needed for labor anymore. They're not needed for a lot of the a lot of the stuff anymore because we have cars. We have we we have all of these things that help us go. Mm -hmm. And now horses are more of a uh, a rich person thing than they are than they are like an everyday thing that everyone has. I am sorry, Flappy Bird users. I don't know why I read it like that. 22 hours from now, I will take Flappy Bird down. I cannot take this anymore. Man, that was 2014? Yeah. I thought it was a couple years earlier than that. I remember being in a class in high school when he said he was taking that down. Whatever. I still don't Only understand why he did that. He was scared. Of what? Of it getting too big. Huh? Of it getting too of it getting too big and thus it taking over his life. Doesn't make any sense to me. I know it doesn't to you, but I guess to him he didn't want to be known for the one thing. Much like how the PUBG creator didn't want PUBG to be the only thing that he was known for. That's why he left PUBG group and started something else. Remove the game from Steam after being under a lot of stress all these months. Why, 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 wait, was the game, I thought it was fine as is. Why would you need to remove it? You don't have to work on the game forever. I would imagine you could just leave it up, make a couple extra bucks and ignore it. Unless you were having to actively fix a bunch of that. I don't know. I didn't play it because I didn't want to. Me, just crushed $20 worth of Taco Bell. My tapeworm. <laughs> See if you can handle it. Pirates long Jesus ago, Christ. white. OMG, yo ho ho. Pirates in recent history. They're breaking the law and disrupting the flow of commerce. The crew of those ships don't deserve to be terrorized. Well, okay, if I'm going to play devil's advocate on this one here for a second, I don't think that anybody that's really into, you know, the fantastical version of pirates we... No, I'm not. Pirates back then were literally... It, 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 they were scoundrels. I mean, that's all there is to it. They were scoundrels and they paraded on the high sea and basically stole from whoever came, whoever they came across. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, and I don't think anyone would be like, I know we look at them now and have a romanticized version of them because, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean and all these other things that paint pirates as like, oh, they're the noble, like, they're the noble, like, Robin Hoods of the sea. No, they're not. No, they're not. Also, Robin Hood is a fictional character, so. Yeah. 
see on TV and movies. I don't think we're really supporting the real, actual act of going out and murdering people and stealing shit and ripping and pillaging and doing all that crap. I feel like most people are just like, pirates are fun. You know, like I, I like pirates. I play Sea of Thieves, but am I a fucking psychopath like a lot of actual pirates back then were? No. no. Dude, the sun and the dehydration and the cabin fever. And the scurvy. You, my father when he was 18. My brother when he hit 18. Meanwhile, me at 18. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, pretty. Finding out that there was a general named General Butt Naked. Finding out why he had that nickname. I'm not looking it up, but you can if you want. These. Oh my God. Oh no. Uh, I think Nick's doing it for us. Let's let's take a look on here. General Butt Naked. Oh. Oh, no. He was a warlord in the Liberian... Oh, my gosh. He's a preacher now. Joshua... Bla Joshua Blagi. Joshua Blagi. He's Liberian. And when he served in the military, he paraded around... But naked while he was serving to show that he was not afraid. Oh, my Lord in heaven. Whew. He and his men, a group of soldiers known as the Naked Base Commandos, fought without clothing and perpetrated oh, numerous atrocities, including child sacrifice and cannibalism. Yes. That's what it was referring to. Yeah. Jesus. That's. Holy balls. And everything else. I'm glad we didn't show that. These Nintendo games were developed with Unity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out super well for Unity in this particular case, you know? Um, no. Men, when they're called males. Women, when they are called... F no, don't call me a fucking male. That's weird. Don't do that, okay? Those words have a place. I've been called a male several times, and I've always just been like, who the fuck says that? Who says that? And I've never once referred to a woman as a female. I, I, I don't ever think I've ever called a woman a female. To me, that's just like, it, it sounds weird. It sounds like I'm trying to be pretentious. And it's not when you're referring to me, okay? <laughs> don't call me a male. It's just strange. You can call me an asshole. I don't care, but not Agreed. a male. Zero days without classified military documents being leaked on the War Thunder forums. Oh, uh, what happened this time? When you find out self-checkout kiosks are asking for tips now? You know, no. I are heard you about fucking that. joking? I'm no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. What? <coughs> We're... Who the fuck are you tipping? Yeah, like... Uh, you know, I know that you try to the company should be giving me a dollar. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like... You know, there was a thing on... Uh, I know it's a lot like the, the donation thing. You know, there's people who donate and all that for, you know, charitable causes and all that. I do every now and again whenever I feel like it, but most of the time I don't. And, they, and a lot of people try to guilt trip you into doing it. And I, I remember that South Park had one episode where they were dedicated to it, it, and he was just like, oh, would you like to donate for, uh, you know, a charitable cause over in that, you know, to feed starving children? Uh, no, I don't feel like doing that today. And he's like, okay, well, in order to uh, say no, you have to go over there to that, uh, that cutout of that little girl holding a sandwich and rip the sandwich out of her hand. Mm. To, which, to which Randy was just like, he, he felt very bad about doing that. Me? I would get so sick of dealing with that bullshit, I'd walk over and I'd just shoot her in the head. I'd walk over, pull out a gun, shoot her in the head, turn around and be like, that good enough? Then you go to prison. Why? For shooting a gun in public. Potentially. <laughs> Either that... Definitely. I, <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Uh, you can't depend, do Depends that. on where you're at in Colorado. There's some people that are, that are okay with that. <laughs> 
But okay, okay, a more logical one would be me walking over, picking the little girl up and like doing a like a backbreaker. Like like a wrestling backbreaker, just like Wow, over my knee. It's a cardboard thing, yeah. right? It's yes. Not an actual person. No, no, no. Okay. It's like it's a cardboard cutout of a little girl holding a sandwich, and I was just like, and I I literally would pick it up, break it over my knee, and just be like, there. Why, why not just tell him no and well, walk on? Or but that's but that but that's the thing. It's just like oh, in order to say no, you on the thing, you know, to like deny it on the card reader, you have to do that. It's like, all right. Are we done here? And I guarantee you they'll just be like, I, I, a lot of them are snippy about it. Like, if you deny, like, charity stuff, some of them can be very snippy about it. I'm just like, I don't care anymore. I've I've been as charitable as I can be with a lot of things. I give to the, the red bucket things for Christmas. I do that, and I also donate uh, whenever I go to PetSmart. I always do, like, a dollar or, like, Roundup yeah, or something like for that. Yeah, for the Yeah, to feed, to feed, shelter. yeah. Shelter. I yeah. just give extra cash that I have only to the actual homeless dudes whenever I see them, because... That's fair. That way I know it's actually going straight to somebody who needs it for something. That's fair, but... I'll also I donate to the kitties and doggies at PetSmart because it's a dollar, like you know. But. Yeah, I'm the same way. And he, <clears throat> have you guys seen yeah. the um the Boy Scout popcorn stuff? That shit's like twenty five dollars. Yeah, it's getting ridiculous. I was not. I, I I wasn't gonna buy any popcorn, but I gave them a few dollars. Like just because, to be like here, you know, money. Uh, I didn't want any popcorn. Cause first of all, I've never tried the popcorn. Second of all, oh, it's good. Yeah, it's pretty just, good. It's good, but it's not worth twenty five dollars. Fuck no. Yeah, I didn't really want to spend twenty five dollars on popcorn. Yeah, I don't blame you. So me neither. Whenever we have so, like, popcorn, here's a few bucks to keep your troop theirs. running. If you want to f- sell this popcorn, consider lowering your prices. Cause yeah, like damn. <coughs> Yeah, but self checkout kiosks asking for tips? Fuck no. <laughs> not seen it in the wild personally, but can we ask who those tips are going to? Because we know it's not the machine. So who's actually get? Oh, you're donating free money to the giant corporations. Yeah. They just get to pocket it for free. Dogs will not go into heaven. Mm-hmm. What? Only God's creations will go into heaven. And since we made dogs ourselves, they won't enter heaven. What the f- are you talking about? Oh. oh yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. Incorrect. I mean, sure, wolves and everything like All that. All dogs but your go average, to heaven. Like, golden retriever and sh- weren't they selectively bred? Like some dude didn't just find one out in the wild who was ready to give you kisses and stuff. I don't know. Maybe they're completely wrong. Tutankhamun depicted in sculptures. Tutankhamun in reality. <laughs> that guy, yeah, uh, that guy was fucked up. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was not great. Um, the dude was so inbred, he like he, he literally. His hips were bowed in, inward. That's how inbred he was. Wasn't exactly given a full deck in life, you know? But hey, it's been a long time. I don't think he minds anymore. EU, USB-C, they're good for your soul. iPhone users for some f***ing reason. Oh no. No, I... I have no soul. Oh no. I'm happy that they're going universal USB-C because makes it easier. Yeah, it does make it easier. And I'm glad that they're transitioning to no charger port, too, because the charger port gets sh- stuff in... Th- I mean, like, the... Mm, the I don't little, know about that. Well, the little charger port... I've had one break in a phone before. Um, I mean... I'd still like to have that as an option, but... Because how else are you going to charge it in the car and stuff like that? Well, a lot of newer cars now have the wireless charging in there. How many people you know that have a newer car like that? Well, also, they also have the ones that are the ones that you can put on the vent, and it has the charging pad in the back of it that goes to the cigarette lighter. Mm-hmm. You basically just put it in there and just, boom, starts charging that way. I guess they just assume that if you can afford a new iPhone, you can afford... A new car. A new car, yeah. yeah. I can't afford the new car if I buy the new iPhone. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's how that works. 
The only reason I'm getting a new iPhone is because they're, my buyback on this is actually really good. And plus, I get extra where I'm a Sam's Club member. I have no soul. I actually just watched like a Linus Tech Tips WAN show bit about this, and I can kind of agree with some of their points. I did enjoy Lightning for its tactile feel. It felt significantly better than USB-C, just from a feeling standpoint. I enjoyed Lightning. Other than that, not really. Also, government regulation is all well and fine, right up until they start saying things like, no, USB-C is what you have to use for at least the next 50 years, and then what the f*** do we do? <laughs> there has to be some sort of innovation down the line, right? We can't stick with one thing forever, can we? I mean, maybe we can. I don't know. As things get more efficient. Depends on if we find something that's better. Because that's always the case. If something comes out that's better, then that's the next step. Usually. Well, I was watching a video about this, and basically it just... it. I sent it to you, actually. Yeah, just, I saw that. It, it lead. It, it's like they're leaning more towards the wireless, like going completely wireless. You know, they have wireless headphones. They, they're, they're transitioning to. I mean, the phones now they can already charge, like this phone. Yeah. It can already charge on a wireless charger. No, I know. I've done so, it. So, like. It just makes more sense, I guess. Eh, I like the I like options because I like having options. I get it. To, I get it. But yeah. I'm just saying that's what it it seems like they're gonna do in the future. Should maybe we can start cramming better and better and better things into USB C as a format, but who knows? Psychopaths, murderers, this guy. Lasagna is freaking disgusting. <laughs> There's a rule with pasta dishes. The less cheese the better. F off. That Parmesan stuff you want to grate over the food smells awful and tastes worse. Holy crap, you're just There's something real deep. fucking wrong with your taste buds, dude. Parmesan is like made of a flavor that's pretty much scientifically like just a delicious flavor. That's the Parmes point of the flavor. It's umami. Parmesan is like one of my top three cheeses. Yeah, like it's it's got an umami flavor. Like it's scientifically proven to taste delicious. Yes. Pretty much like yes. What the fuck is wrong with you? You must be getting like the uh, comes in a bottle, a green bottle from uh, the store. You're not eating fresh parm. Yeah. So how do you explain lasagna, a food saturated with ricotta, the nastiest cheese there is? Also the wrong. cheese gets in the way of the tomato sauce and pasta paste and feels unpleasant on the tongue, and lasagna also just wrong. looks gross. As if an alien life form, like the one in that movie The Thing, absorbed a pasta dish. Hmm. You know what? Uh, it, it, the guy did it properly, though. He went on r slash unpopular opinion and actually stated a really unpopular opinion. Normally, Ooh. that sub is just full of garbage. One piece live action actors when they find out they have to shoot another thousand episodes <laughs> look i'm well that's inaccurate because they went to the arlong park uh the arlong park uh like see or uh, storyline and that's well with and that's like several hundred episodes so no it's not or that's like a couple i, I haven't episodes. watched several hundred episodes and i've seen arlong park in the main hold show. on hold on hold on it's only like 35 or so. Maybe I'm misremembering. Okay, 31 through 44. Yeah. My mistake. Well, fuck me then. I'm sure by the end of it, they would go, wow, we're 20 years older and multi-millionaires, and now we get to retire. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think they did but 31 no, to 44 suspicion. episodes of the live action, did they? They probably no. only did like 15. They only did eight. Nice. They only did eight? Yeah, so they're still, like, they're speed running it still. No matter how good the live action adaptation continues to be, there's no goddamn way that Netflix would ever sign off on a thousand episodes of anything. Mm -hmm. So they'll probably work with the author of the manga and probably try to condense and get rid of, because I heard there's a lot of filler. Like I heard that the story has a ton of filler that can be moved out of the way. So I don't think- It's not the filler episodes that's the thing. It's the fact that there's a lot of just repetition in a lot of episodes of stuff 
that's been covered in like the previous three to four episodes that takes up like ten minutes of the runtime. I'm like, we know this. We know that Luffy's trapped on the bottom of the ocean. What the fuck are you doing? Like, like okay, are you gonna free him? Are we gonna see him free today? Nope, okay, next episode then. I think that it's gonna be one to one, if I had to guess, maybe a hundred episodes of the live action adaptation, because I also heard the manga's supposed to end in like the next couple of years. So, uh, I don't know, color me crazy. I wanna play Starfield, it's just fall out in space. I already said I wanna play it, you don't have to convince me. Oh yeah, I mean, I wasn't really super disappointed by, oh, it's just a fallout game. And I knew that's what was gonna happen. Yeah. However, the way Todd sold it and the way he made certain mechanics seem. It just works. It just works. When talking about the game, I don't know, it kind of sucks that it's just fast travel simulator when he did indeed make it seem a little different than that. Plus, yeah, you can explore this entire planet. You can explore the five preloaded regions of the planet and then you hit a, you know, a wall when you try to get too far out of the boundary. Yeah, not at all like other games where you can just roam like a psycho. So, yeah, it's still a good game. I would say that for sure, but not at all what I was expecting. Just just based on Todd. It's always From everything Todd. I've heard he about it, seen about it, it looks good, but not close to amazing. No. Good. Like a bunch of sh seven out of five, uh, seven out of ten it was. And makes me think it's gonna be different, and then when it comes out, I'm like, oh. Okay. Which seven out of ten is a perfectly serviceable game. It just doesn't look like I mean anybody who's like game of the year, I'm just like No. no. Sit down. Baldur's Gate three and Tears of the Kingdom easily had it beat. Yes. I think Baldur's Gate's gonna win. I don't. Why? Because I know how people are about Zelda and mainstream AAA titles. Mm, I don't know. I mean... I think they're gonna give it to the mainstream AAA title out of the two. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I would love for Baldur's Gate to win, but I just don't see it happening. Well... I mean... Also, all of the other people in the game industry that are fucking intimidated by Baldur's Gate 3 and don't want it to set standards that they don't feel like they can reach anymore, they are going to, like, use their influence to make sure it doesn't win, most likely. Well, here's what I'll say. Uh, yeah, 2022 Game of the Year. What was... It was 2021, I think. Yep, there it is. It Takes Two... And It Takes Two, the funny thing about It Takes Two is it is literally, like, good, but by comparison to other games that came out that year, like, look what it was up against. It was up against Metroid Dread, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, Resident Evil Village, uh, Deathloop, and Psychonauts it's really 2. really Dread should have won, in my opinion. But a Metroid game is never gonna win because it's more niche. One of Nintendo's. Properties. Yet it's yet it's by Nintendo. But it's I mean, one of their. It's like their least popular of their main properties. I would make the argument that uh, F Zero is least popular. It's not even one of their main properties anymore, though. They've quit working on F Zero as of like in sixty four days, GameCube days, one of the two. I guess. But for me, I just look at what. I just look at how the Game Awards have gone in the past. It Takes Two wasn't a threat to other AAA developers, basically, in the way that Baldur's Gate 3 is. I guess, but I don't know. For me, this is... For me, it... I mean, God of War Ragnar It was between God of War Ragnarok and Elden Ring as to who was going to win this uh, last year. Elden Ring won, and I think Elden Ring was very much a threat to, like, to, like, uh, 3D platforming games. In terms of just, like, what's possible. Not 3D platforming games, 3D open world games. 3D, okay, 3D open world games. Yeah. To an extent, yeah. But it, it wasn't like Elden Ring was built on a scope that other AAA companies looked at and were like, we can't replicate that. Like, they weren't scared of it the way they're scared of Baldur's Gate 3. I guess. <clears throat> it's still built in a FromSoft style and a FromSoft engine. Like, they didn't have to go super in-depth with all their, like, 
uh, mocap and voice acting and shit, you know. I guess like what we can do is do. we can we can watch the game awards and we can see for ourselves. And I guess just like you're gonna pick, you're gonna pick uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna pick uh, Baldur's Gate, which is funny because. That's the opposite of like <laughs> our favorites of the two, probably. <laughs> so my favorite is Baldur's Gate. Your favorite is probably Tears because you haven't played Baldur's Gate. Yet. No, I haven't played Baldur's <laughs> Gate, but it very much interests me. And Tears of the Kingdom I like a lot, but I guarantee you I'm going to like Baldur's Gate whenever I play it. Thinking about playing, doing a playthrough with Rick, uh, just me and him uh, just going uh, through. I, I, I also meant to say, I'm not just sharing that because it's like my personal opinion. That's like what everyone on the RPG groups and stuff that I'm in has been saying is going to happen. Watch it win, and then everyone on the RPG groups literally has We all to just... want it to win. Like, we'll all be happy. We just think that's what, probably what's going to happen, you know? Well, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah, dank memes. So, we need to end this before this goes on any longer. This video is already over an hour long, so I know we're going to be hearing an earful from all of you out there. So, let's go ahead and just end it. You Thank saw you for... the length of the video before you clicked on it. Yep. You've done this to yourself. Yes. If you're still here at this point. <laughs> if you're still here, the secret word is... Hmm. Snapdragon. So, feel free to type that in chat if you made it this far. So, till next time, everybody. I'm Nate. I'm Kate. I am Nick. Take care. Bye-bye.